Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Join me quickly. Let me uh, show you something. So join me quickly. Let me uh, say one or two things. For some time now, uh, you have not heard my voice. I stayed away from. So join me quickly. From. Uh, Let me. Uh, from politics, so that I can concentrate a bit on ministry as we are establishing our ministry in nigeria please share this broadcast because what i want to say is very important i want you to um, give me feedback if you are able to hear me loud and clear and this is my new uh, facebook page where i was i speak about politics so if you have not followed it I want you to follow it very, very well. Uh, I want to show you something. Yeah. Something that uh, has really made me so upset. Yeah. you to see this <coughs> I spoke before about uh, the people that uh, President HH appointed in power. When, after winning the election, when HH was uh, appointing people, I, I actually thought maybe uh, we could give him opportunity to appoint people. <coughs> that was why we didn't make suggestion to him. You know, I I trusted his ability to appoint the right people that will save the people of Zambia diligently, and, and the people that uh, uh, that really understand politics. I trusted him on that area, so that's why I didn't bother to to you know give direction or, or or tell him to say no appoint this person appoint that person or suggest so I'll suggest to say okay this person i said to myself no uh, being a uh, somebody that have been in no position for many many years and understood the problem of zambia i thought maybe uh, uh, we could give him that benefit to appoint people and he appointed people it wasn't long I started lamenting saying the people that the president appointed are not the right people they are not the right people they would destroy the party that we fought for you know the party that we sacrificed every everything for most of these guys that the president has uh, has appointed do not have the same vision that we share I said it and I came on board I I mentioned mr. mr. Kabuswe, the, the minister of mine I said this guy this guy this guy is not the right guy there 
HH has made a very big mistake of appointing people that do not understand the suffering of Zambia. He has made the mistake of appointing greedy people. As we speak today, I heard so many people complain about uh, um, the, uh, data do, uh, finishing fast. As we speak today, UPND is finishing faster than ATL data. I mean, UPND eh, is finishing faster than ATL data. Not because the president is not doing well or does not mean well for the people of Zambia. Because he does not understand politics. Number one. And the people that he brought into power do not understand politics as well. And this is going to cost, cost him. This is going to cost UPND. I am not, uh, I'm not scared of UPND giving out power in 2026 to either KBF, uh, 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 um, Chishimba Kambiri, or any other person. Or member. I, I don't have a problem. I am scared that HH will spend the rest of his life in prison. When I speak, people people who don't understand politics, uh, you have opportunity, you can doubt, but you must know that anything I tell you is what is going to happen. The way things are going, UPND is finished. Not even is finishing. UPND is finished. Why? Because HH is running the government like business. You don't run government like business. You run government like politics. It is politics that create a government. And you can never neglect politics and run a country like business. And I don't blame him. Why? I don't blame him because he's coming from a business background. He has never been a politician. During the time of campaign, he was campaigning as, as a business person. That's why he lost five good times. They bring the big manifesto, reading what... I, that's how we came in and forced him to campaign like a, a politician. And he campaigned like a politician. He became a president. He's in power now. He doesn't have that political experience. And the people that he appointed are, are waste. They don't understand political experience. What happened in Kabushi today and Kwacha? If you are a UPND and you are pretending we have won election, we have won election, compare the number of people that voted for you in last election to the number of people that voted today, you will know that you are you are finished. Why? Not because of the president. The president is doing everything right. The economy is growing. Things are happening economically. But politically, zero. Because of the people that he appointed. It's very, very important for everyone to hear my voice. So that in 2026, you will not come and say... You, you will not come and say, uh, Sia one is this. Sia one did not say it. Sia one, he said he's a prophet, but he didn't see it. Even those, like somebody, that other man with big ass, the, the, that grown up kid that carry a uh, safety stick to move all around the street, you will come tomorrow and say, Sia, everybody knew that UPND was going to lose in 2016. I am saying my own as quick as possible so that you will not come and blame me tomorrow to say the way that UPND government is being run they won't go beyond 2026 if they continue like this now look at what happened in Kabushi today if even if PF had to get somebody from the street and put him on ballot call, he was going to win against UPND member. How many people voted? How many people, how many votes did, did UPND have? Nothing. Meaning people, people don't care. People don't want to hear about UPND. I'm telling you. 
I'm not going to lie to you. No one went to hear about UPND again. Even myself today, when I talk about UPND, nobody wants to hear about UPND. What is the problem? The problem is because the government is run as a business. Instead of being run as politics. One, all the people that fought for UPND, I mean all, have been neglected. I want to show you something now quickly now this is uh, this is uh, this was last night hmm? this was last night hmm? and this uh, idiot Kings Malembe Malembe was doing a, a show eh? this fool was doing a show who was at the show see him see his tummy like he has swallowed the swallowed lion see his tummy this is the money of people of zambia in this tummy i will come and talk about this later but who was at the event see him see him he calls it see him this is honorable capsule hmm? that is him i want to show you his picture very clear look at him honorable capsule attending a show for kings malembe malembe giving a support to this idiot called kings who doesn't know what hh went through in the hand of this idiot eh? see him see him see his tummy this is the money for the people of zambia and i promise him in 2026 this tummy will go flat in prison if it doesn't happen then know that i'm not here one look at him this is people's money in his tummy hmm? Hmm? the party the party, UPND party, is dying. It doesn't care. The reason why the UPND party is dying is because they abandoned the people that fought for the party. And they have embraced criminals. I for once know that Kings Malemba Malemba insulted me because I supported a church. He called a a satanist. He called a church witchcraft. There is no name that kings did not call a church. There is no name. That, I mean, there is no name. Kings Malembe Malembe was going from compound to compound looking for a way, a campaigning against a church. Kings Malembe Malembe, if he had a gun, he was going to shoot a church not even he was today given an opportunity he will shoot a church he doesn't like a church because a church is a tonga he doesn't like a church because according to him a church is a satanist this is the person that a whole minister of mine went to support last night I am not saying, look, 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 don't get me wrong. Many a times you say, I see I want, want to bring confusion in our country. One Zambia, one nation. Number one, Kings is not a Zambian, he's a Congolese. But I don't want to talk about that. That will come later. It's not a Zambian. Okay. If, no, see I want is bringing confusion. It doesn't, he, see I want is, I am not saying, don't like PF people love pf people like pf people but don't give them support to come back and remove you out of power giving an opportunity today kings will still choose a digalungu over a church love them but don't don't empower them don't support them this is politics this is not a church this is politics and you must do politics as a politics you can never support your opponent against your own people this minister honorable kabuswe that went to support kings last night has he supported a uh, uh, NAC unit NAC unit in luapula nearly died they wanted to kill them via since you won election have you attended their show have you even organized a show for them? You left the people that sacrificed for the party to go and support an idiot. What kind of show was he doing last night for, for a home minister to go and embarrass himself?
How about organized family? Organized family that supported you Even when it was not fashionable to support you What have you done for him? As a minister, honorable Kabusue Have you attended the show for, for, for organized family? Have you even organized a show for them to raise money? If your party cannot be able to raise money for them you just come no there is nothing like a handout that's a stupidity people at state house are getting handout in all the home ministries in zambia today there is a handout going on so handout supposed to be given to a, 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 a big people that alpha commodity won that all those contracts that he won because he gave handout we are not babies. We, I don't want to fight you, PND. I don't want to fight you, especially it's too early. I came because of this capsule. This man. I spoke about him before. You, you refuse to be good to your own people and embrace your enemies. Kings is doing a show. Then you, go, you carry that to your stomach all those millions that you are getting from people all those companies that you have opened using your relative using your friends getting contracts and so on eating billions now eh? you go and support what kind of stupidity is this are you people mad why are you i mean okay the, how about this government government that sang a song that that brought brought Eh, 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 the whole country to a standstill for a church have you attended this show eh? what have you done for him what have you done for him eh? you you just what kind of stupidity is going on in this government i have never seen in my life the kind of selfishness and stupidity going on in this government has never happened in history when pf was in power how many times did they attend the show for organized family how many times did they attend the show for 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 government how many times did they attend the show for NAC unit as a minister, a home minister, your party is losing ground on the copper belt. Your party has come from 100% to 0%. You, it doesn't pain you that a whole president went to copper belt and stayed for two good days speaking to people. And still today, people did not listen to him. They did not come out and vote. What is going to happen in the year 2026? You think that people you think that you and the people love you eh? you think that you you pnd you say you are doing well you are doing nothing the way you are going eh? you are not going anywhere those people that fought for you are hungry those snack unit guys in Luapula there they are hungry they send me messages how all of them if i talk about NAC unit i i i, I it's like uh, organized family hungry all of all of these guys that supported you hungry then you you carry yourself you don't you i, I believe that with what was happening yesterday where a whole president went to campaign how many people followed the president while he was campaigning on the copper belt as we speak today upnd you have lost copper belt completely you don't have copper belt lusaka is worse lusaka is worse uh, we, then who is going to vote for you in 2026 the structure that made you win election you have abandoned them mini cab cab sway cab sway if people that fought for you call you on the phone you don't pick up their call you have the guts to go and attend the show for a man that hate a church with the highest hatred these are the people that HH surround himself with and they don't care these guys are just like Dorasilia. when pf took Dorasilia, i told them these people that you are bringing in the name of uniting the nation they don't love you did, did you hear the the three days ago what the said the said my marriage 
with PF ended immediately after the election. They came for their stomach. Somebody like Kabusue came for his stomach. Many of them, if, if I start mentioning them, there are too many. HH abandoned the people that fought with him, abandoned the people that mean well for him, and embraced his enemy. His enemies now are embracing more enemies, leaving aside people that are supposed to be benefiting. If you there is go to any UPND group today and see that everyone is crying. Everyone is crying. Everyone is crying. What happened if you don't learn something from what happened in the copper bed today? You will not even stay up to 2026. Pressure will make you resign. And if you if you really if you want to if you don't want to complete your tenure, I will help you. See I one. I will help you force you out of power and uh, this time around when we are supporting a person we must support somebody the one of the reasons why i supported hh is because i thought that you know this one is strong man because of what he has gone through is coming with fire and power to put this in order but when he took over power he changed he changed from a politician to a man of god the people that are supposed to go in prison are not going to prison. The people that stole from Zambia are the people that people love today. I'm telling you, somebody like Milanji, somebody like Bowman Lusambo, people love them today. If I talk about Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu is like now a saint. And if UPND continue like this, me myself see one i will come live and apologize to eddie galung because it seems we are just fighting a man that was innocent if he was if he was not innocent he was supposed to be in jail now nah? i'll come and up you don't know me <laughs> you see uh, 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 it was better when we were fighting you said no don't help us than to allow me to help you form government and then you think you can you can use people and dump them it will be easier to remove P UPND from government we are not even talking yet we have not even talked I have not even talked. UPND is finishing quicker than a day that happened. How much more when I talk? So I I have given you time from now to January. Put things in order. I am saying put things in order. Remember your structures how can a whole how can a whole uh, a, a, a minister that understood how kings malembe malembe demonize the president go and attend the show for what to make the matter worse this is the time we are all supposed to to me myself as see a one i have not been myself looking at what has been going on I've not been myself that's why you see me quiet because what am i going to say i am confused i am confused what am i going to say eh? a party that is let, just one year in power finishing so quick i mean finishing like like nothing happened the election that happened today in kabushi and kwacha supposed to be a massive celebration people you know people are supposed to turn out in number removing a criminal like Bowman lusambo or milanji but what happened people did not even go the president was there and people refused to go and vote what what if you don't think what is then going to happen in 2026? Eh? 
what is going to happen in 2026 i am giving you from now to january put your house in order this is politics this is politics this is politics if people continue to complain like this if rich people continue eating why poor people that suffered i, I spoke about fertilizer i've spoken about on honorable Kabusu, the minister of mine how about the the most corrupt human being the minister of 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 agriculture who took a tender that was supposed to be given to poor people of zambia and gave it to to to, to his fellow rich people is this government only for the rich how about the poor people that fought for the party they came and applied for and applied for a, 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 a tender one tender and then you come back you don't give them tender you carry tender and give to to rich people you carry tender and give to alpha commodity the president is saying there is not I, I do not support handout he doesn't know that his ministers are chief owners of handout if you tell me how uh, uh, alpha commodity managed to win all these millions of dollar tender leaving aside the people that sacrificed for upn that tender. i'm not going to talk about this one i will keep it because i've spoken about it one thing about me is that one thing about me is that when i see danger i speak about it when eddie galungu took over power the first blunder he did was fire tender and i spoke about that fire tender i spoke no let's proceed the people of zambia forget so fast i left them in 2020 when i started fighting them i brought it back because i do not forget you see this one for for uh, agriculture pf stole little money from that fire tender this agriculture minister together with his friends have stolen millions of dollars i'm telling the gospel truth and i spoke about it you went ahead and uh, proceeded you gave your tender to your friends for fellow fellow rich people <laughs> i've put it aside i'll come back if things do not change i'll come back when i come back and talk about it you will know that you are not politicians you are not wise i'm telling you the gospel truth i am here to fight for people that suffered so that they can eat because they must reap from their suffering mac unit is poor it's there in uh, your pula no one cares about him then the, the minister of mind king's malembe malembe the cry cry baby that is the greatest enemy of a church up to today he doesn't believe that a church is a christian he believed that hh is a satan what is the minister doing there a minister that hh trusts and give such position what was he doing there was he not supposed to sit down somewhere eh? and and start thinking why is our party finishing like this was he not supposed to be consigned he dressed like a nigerian to go and support kings malembe malembe you support i'm not saying don't love pf love them but don't empower your enemy with bullets to come and shoot you eh? Eh? how about uh, 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 these two guys what have you done the musicians in in upnd have you supported them have you attended their event pf is even better when i speak they listen they put it in practice when i spoke about pf empowering their musicians they empower their musicians today when you speak they don't listen they think that no everything will be fine Pah. 
you don't know what you are talking about when we start you will know i see that um, you people are still smiling today you are still smiling eh? most of the people are appointed in upnd government i didn't know anything about them the these most of these guys are guys who we are just sleeping in their comfortable bed who we are working who we are enjoying themselves i was thinking that when you form government the first people you take care of are the people that fought for you to come into government that did not happen the people that have been empowered now are people that are our enemy don't be surprised tomorrow you'll see kings malembe malembe with contract because i've never seen a dow government like this one i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you i've never very soon you will see him with a contract because if a home minister will abandon his party that is dying and finishing like never before if a home minister can abandon it to go and attend that stupid event useless event event organized by a fool a cry cry baby somebody who was calling a church a satan is calling a church all sorts of name that idiot organized a party and a home minister abandoned everything he was doing to go and dance what a joke eh? there was national day of prayer mr honorable kabuswe did you go where are you there eh? very useless set of people put your house in order between now in January we are not fools we are not going to watch you destroy the party alone we made the party we brought the government into power and we must help you to bring it down we must help you to bring it down and we shall do it that is if that is what you want if that is not what you want if you still want to go beyond 2026 put your house in order remember all those people that you used and dumped remember them between now and january i want to be receiving messages that yes i will be remembered the minister has called me things are going well our party structures are working if that doesn't happen we are going to help you to bring down upnd and it's very easy i am a born politician don't think i will come and say eh, i did this with hh i did this with hh i've used that format before i'll use another format and you can do a crash no one the president i see what they are putting on his page today is quoting bible verse even if he has lost following I see them quote, quoting Bible verse and all those things. People are still responding because we are not talking. If we talk, nobody will respond. Where is Eddie Galung? Who pretended more than Eddie Galung? Who quoted scripture more than Eddie Galung? It's even, it was even hard to defeat Eddie Galung because that was poor people's party it was party for the poor and you know it's easy to defeat the poor because the poor are the majority how much more this upnd that is party for the rich only it will crash in one broadcast and we don't want to go that far we love this party that's why we fought for this party and we fought for this party not these things that uh, not these things that we are seeing today what we are seeing today is total nonsense politics as i go uh, as i go to sleep politics is all about loyalty this is the last word that i'm going to speak tonight politics is about loyalty you don't do brother and sister in politics is loyalty the people that we are loyal to you when you are not in power when you get into power take care of them even if today a church after free education 
kwacha trading and sustain kwacha and all the news of the economy and this and that and the employing of the zns and so on and so forth all these things that you have achieved did the people turn out in number to vote in kabushi did they turn out in number to vote in kwacha the president was campaigning yesterday i was ashamed of the kind of crowd that i was seeing i was asking myself what is going on politics is all about loyalty the people that are loyal to you take care of them the people that are loyal to you they were loyal to you when you are not the president now that you are the president take care of them that is politics all these people that you are bringing from from upnd from from pf all these your friends that are coming from all over the world to come and eat zambia like vulture now where we are there when people we are fighting for you all these people that i hear their name strange this one has been appointed here where we are there we are there in the battlefront if they were not in the battlefront remove them and put soldiers that fought for you that is politics did you see how Doracelia quickly abandoned pf she said my marriage with them ended all she was after was power and the money she got it and that's all she's not even willing to support pf or help pf to get power back she don't care 90 percent of people that are surrounded hh are like Doracelia. They, they have just come to eat once he loses election everybody will disappear those people that we are with you that we are loyal to you when you were not the president take care of them look for them even those that we are feeding you in prison people that lost their businesses for supporting you you abandon them you have embraced all this other guy they are not there because they love you they are all there because they are after power and the money once you leave power the same way dora Celia, when i was telling pf people that dora Celia is not here because he loved the party all these people that came from mmd they only came to destroy pf and they ran that's all what happened to them dora Celia said my marriage with them ended <laughs> when we lost the election they are they have surrounded you the same people like the rest here. go back to those people that love you when we are in opposition we have their numbers we have their numbers they are talking to us every blessed day every blessed day they are crying even up today my whatsapp is filled up with people crying that have been abandoned go back to them and rebuild the party build the party first stop arming your enemy see what your minister is doing he doesn't care that the party is losing ground go to go and see him at king's dancing with a stomach as fat as uh, fatter than the, uh, 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 fatter than the ass for for uh, 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 simon hmm? With stomach like he swallowed 150 fro fro uh, frogs he doesn't care uh, if you lose the election tomorrow he will jump he will go to another party i don't want that to happen i love hh so much i love him i love upnd party that's why we fought so much you know this is my family upnd is my family you know it's, it's a family to me i don't have just a political relationship with upnd and the president but i have family relationship and i don't want us to lose power just like this we are finished the way it's, it, things are going if pf have to bring in a leader a leader we are gone we are gone they may not even need alliance because people no longer want to hear anything about UPN. No, they don't want to hear. Go to uh, 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 
Lusaka, Cairo Road, and shout, Bali will fix it. They will slap you. They will chase you with slap. It's not because the president is not doing the right thing. The president is doing the right thing. But we do not have uh, the people that fought for us have been neglected, have been abandoned. The people that are enjoying now and receiving support are the people that did not uh, do anything. I came live today because I was upset. I can't just watch this party die like this. Just like this, dying, collapsing just like this. I can't just allow that to happen. So we must all wake up, pull our socks. And there is nothing like, no, this one, I've used this one, I've used this one. <laughs> you can't use people. If you, you there are people that you can use and you can only use people if you have party structure the way it is you need everybody just like it was before we formed government <laughs> things are not okay that's all i want to say remember this is my new page this page is strictly for politics follow me because we have a lot to do we really have a lot to talk about so follow me on this uh, on this page this is my new page prophecy one ministries follow me there we have a lot to talk about and we have a lot to do i love you all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go